And back here at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel for the Critics' Choice celebration of Black Cinema and Television in its fifth annual year happening right here. It's going to be an incredible night with lots of star power. This is the final celebrations edition of the Critics' Choice celebrations shows, and we are doing it in a big way tonight. Angela Bassett, Barry Gordy, Michael B. Jordan, so many amazing talents are going to be walking this carpet right here. So let's see who's on the carpet right now. We do have the executive producer of the celebration celebration of cinema and television here. Mr. Sean Edwards, do you have time just to talk to us for a little bit? Here, I'm going to switch over here. Like, right I'm over here. I'm going to talk to you all night. Oh. This is the night I've been waiting for. This is the night I've been working on for 365 days. And I am so happy. I am so, that I'm excited. It's just, it's one of those things you really can't put into words. Now, I know I'm a professional journalist, but look, I'm at a loss for words tonight. It's the, it's, believe it or not, it's the fifth annual. Yeah. Even though we started the first one in 2014, but whenever you like come up with an idea, you never know how it's going to turn out. Like you scribble something on a napkin or you, you know, you open up your laptop and you have that blank screen and then you start typing and then you start networking and you start telling people about what you want to do. And this is my dream and these are my goals. But it happened because we're here. <laughs> yes, and congratulations. Five years. What a huge accomplishment. This is the big celebration that everyone looks forward to every really? year. Yeah, you want to know why? You've had a lot of star power. Eddie Murphy, yeah. Halle Berry. Yes. This year we have Barry Gordy, Angela 100%. Bassett. Tell me the process on how you got these amazing talents to be part of the show. Well, the process works like this. I am a big, huge, ginormous lover of film but I also have a special connection to black film because, you know, I'm black. And so I sit down and watch movies and I just sort of get motivated by certain performances and certain directors. And I'm like, this person has been doing this well for a really long time, or this person set the bar, or this person was like super creative. And we try to figure out how we can bring them all in the room to give them their flowers and honor them because at a lot of other award shows, they don't get the recognition. Right. Well, a lot of people are getting the recognition tonight. We got Michael B. Jordan. Yes. We have Gina. Yes, we do have Michael B. Jordan. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of other people and directors too. Who is the? Who are some of the people that you're most, I guess, uh, looking to forward see, to see? Yeah, or looking forward to having a little small conversation with. Yeah. The top of the list starts with Barry Gordy. I mean, he's the founder and chairman of Motown Records arguably probably the greatest record label of all time. I've been listening to his music since I was in the womb. I've been watching his movies because <laughs> my parents played Motown. I've been listening to Motown since I was in the womb. You know, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. And then his movies like blew me away because, you know, I was, I was, I was a youngster. I was like Little Sean when The Wiz and Mahogany and Lady Sings the Blues came out. And I remember seeing those movies in the movie theater. You know, when you watch something that impactful on a big 40 foot screen it stays with you and i've been trying to like celebrate motown productions for a long time so it feels right to do it on the fifth anniversary so i definitely want to meet barry gordy i definitely want to meet the queen angela bassett she's done so many movies so many television shows so many iconic performances then i also like hanging out with my peers so i can't wait till i hang out with kid cuddy Scott Muscutty. Come on, man. I mean, you said Pierce. I thought you meant the other Critics' Choice members. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I thought you meant, but like he's name dropping and saying my, uh, my peers, I'm not, Kid Cudi. No, I want to hang out with my fellow film critics as well because, you know, they also watch and talk about and write about these films and these performances that we're celebrating tonight. But no, I mean, you know, Kid Cudi for a certain generation arguably the best rapper of all time. And he just, you know, he, he got his start on the internet. He broke online listening, like SoundCloud exists yeah. because of Kid Cudi. I, I just, I just want to sit down and chop it up with him. And now he's making movies and TV shows because Intergalactic might actually be my favorite movie of 2022. It's an animated feature. It's so dope. The, the fashion, the colors, like it takes place in New York. I've been to New York like a million times, but what he and Kenyon Barris did with like New York. And it's just a really great love story as well. And who doesn't want to be in love? 
<laughs> okay, so we're gonna end it there because I know that you got a lot of things to do. Uh, you there are the executive producer. You're gonna be presenting Allegedly. opening tonight Allegedly. as well. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be what I do want to tell everyone too is I know that you don't have access to see the show tonight. We are going to be showing some behind the scenes at thecriticschoice.com. Follow all of our social media handles, but this will be televised, right? There will be an opportunity for people to see this. Yes. Okay. It's live tonight, Monday, December the fifth. And then it's this thing called a, a camera and we record it all and then we break it down and edit. And then you can watch it on next star stations the entire month of February. It will premiere on KTLA in Los Angeles, but you can also watch it on WPIX in New York, KRON in San Francisco, WGN in Chicago. And of course in my hometown, WDAF Fox four news, you can watch the whole show. You can see how it goes down, but if you're watching this live stream right now, we want you to call your friends, your families, and your associates and check out the heat that's about to happen on this red carpet. Because last year, everybody came and they showed out on this red carpet. If you want to get your fashion game up or you want to see what's next or you want to see what your, your favorite star is rocking, yeah, you need to watch this live stream tonight because they are about to come with it. Get your a fire emojis ready. Get your heart emojis ready. Cause you're going to be clicking fire emojis and heart emojis all night. So I'm telling you, there's going to be some stunners and some gunners on the carpet tonight. All right. Very well said. Save your breath. Cause you got to be speaking on the show tonight on stunners stage. Thank stunners. you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Awesome. And there you go. Sean Edwards, executive producer of the Celebration of Black Cinema and Television by the Critics' Choice Association tonight. Uh, we are going to wait for the arrivals. You heard him say Angela Bassett, Barry Gordy, who is a legend and an icon, Michael B. Jordan, and so many more are going to be walking this carpet. But for now, we are going to take a break and we'll be right back. Special thanks to Fiji Water, the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel, Milagro Tequila, and so many more. McBride Sisters with their Black Girl Magic Wine. And we've got a lot of other people to thank, but for now we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. We'll see you soon.
are back. The stars have arrived on the carpet, and right now we're waiting for Cinco Balls from the nanny. He's here tonight. The nanny also has a lot of star power and a table here, so we're anticipating a lot of the cast to be here. Cinco is looking great on the carpet. Let's talk to him for a bit. How are you? Hi, I'm Natasha. Pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, how does it feel being here tonight? Obviously, the nanny, good movie, a little bit of a horror film, I know, right? Tell me a little bit about your experience working on the film. It's funny because when I get to watch the film, I get even more scared. Oh, okay. You know, and at, at the end of the day, when we were shooting it, I didn't realize everything that was going on because we have so much great CG. Yeah. And we have so many other things that are going on in the film. And then I watch it, and now it's suspenseful for me as well. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm watching it surprised and scared like everybody else. Yeah. How are you surprised and scared when you were in the film? I know. There's only one moment in the film when people watch it that they'll, I don't want to give it away yet. Right. But there's something that happens between myself and my co-star, Anna Jope, when we're in a bed. Oh. That was actual fear moving me out of the bed in that moment. Oh, so that wasn't acting. That was really That was real not life. acting. That was reacting. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Okay, I can't wait because I'm going to watch it then again and yeah. know what you're talking about. So tonight is a big night. It's the fifth annual celebration of Black Cinema and TV. What does an event like this mean to you? I mean, I think it's a testament to how far we've come and how far we, we have to continue to go. And I'm happy to be here to celebrate everyone, obviously, to get to celebrate my filmmaker, mm -hmm. someone who, you know, through the journey of Nanny, I've, I've fallen in love with as an artist, as a person, as a woman, um, just to be in the presence of everyone and just kind of continue the legacy that has been paid for us mm -hmm. is a gift. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, you're speaking about legacies and legends. We've got Barry Gordy here tonight. Listen, listen <laughs> I mean, one of the goats. You know, know what I mean? Like right there. That's one of the goats right, right there. Right. And Angela Bassett, who's the queen? The queen. And every time I get to see her, it's it's truly a gift. She's been someone who has shed so much light on me in this industry. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to work with her once. And I'm grateful to still consider her a friend, a mentor, a mother, an aunt. Um, someone who shed so much light on me every day. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to give you a little tease. You might get a little emotional tonight because I saw the video that they put together for Angela Bassett. It's going to give you goosebumps. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah it, it really will. I, I mean, I get goosebumps just looking at her. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you. All right. So when you're watching the nanny, the scene with them in bed, that wasn't acting, that was reacting. There you go. You heard it here first. That was Cinco Walls. And right now we are going to talk to more people who are arriving on the carpet. We're just going to keep... Tobias, how are you? Come on over here. You look lovely. I'm so Natasha. Good. Hi there. I'm Joaquin, Hello. You. Come on over here. Yeah. This is for the Critics' Choice. We're doing a live stream. Hey, Critics' Choice. Hey there. So good to be here. It is great to have you Yeah, here. thank you. Tell me a little bit about uh, who you're excited to see here tonight. Angela Bassett. I know. She is the queen of everything. Mm -hmm. I love her so much, so I'm really excited to see her. Yeah. And she's always flawless. So I can't wait to see what she's wearing. She's just amazing. Well, I think you're speaking about yourself right now. Flawless. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, Michael B. Jordan is also pretty exciting, yes, but yes. Angela takes the cake. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, it's the fifth year for the celebration of Black Cinema and TV. What does this event mean to you as an actor? It means so much. Yes. And even more than an actor, just as a Black person in America, to be able to have this representation for kids to be able to see this on TV, see someone that looks like them, that feels like them. It is so important to have that validation. So I think it's amazing. All right. Well, enjoy your night. You look beautiful so far. You are the best dressed on the carpet tonight. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Take care. All right. This is a fun carpet. People are just starting to walk in, but it's going to be great. The fifth annual celebration of Black Cinema and Television. Here, let's have a speak. How are you? I'm Natasha. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm doing really great. First of all, let's talk about this, what you're wearing right here. Yeah, yeah. This is a gorgeous custom piece from a dear friend of mine named Fenor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he makes all my uh, gear, and um, I love it. I feel confident. I feel good. I'm smooth. Yes. Well, we knew that the fashion was going to be fierce tonight. We really did. Because it, it, it really is nice. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, why you're here and why it's important for an event like this. Um, well, I'm here because I'm in the industry, and I love supporting the arts, you know, cinema, but I'm also here representing a film called Aura. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a time for me to get a chance to put the words out, get a chance to see some of my people that I work with, Michael B. Jordan and uh, Runo on trailblazers, trailblazers like Angela Bassett and stuff. So, you know, I'm just here for the overall event and uh, Critics' Choice Association. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for having me. Yeah. yeah. You're very welcome. Well, enjoy your night. You got to take a picture over there. IMBD Pro is doing some portraits and they're doing a great gallery. So you got to stop on over and get your picture taken, okay? Okay, All right, because you look great. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Welcome. I look forward to it. All right. All right, and we are going to take a little bit of a break and wait for more star power to arrive here at the fifth annual celebration of Black Cinema and Television happening at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel.
we are back at the celebration of black cinema and television and back in the spring we also had a show called the real tv awards where we honored the best in reality television and here's the director of watch out for the big girls that lizzo reality show Vega, how are you amazing yeah. i'm so excited to be here again yes. for all film uh -huh. it's so exciting well you know you've been having a really great year you won with the, with the reality show you're here at the celebration of black cinema are we going to have more of watch out for the big girls I hope so. I okay. hope we have more with Lizzo. Like, the show has just been so impactful, even beyond the Emmys. Yeah. Like, we've just been able to change the world and give more visibility to plus size women, to black women, to women of color. Yeah. So, I'm super excited, like, for what's to come and to be back here now. Yeah. And when you were recognized with that honor, how did it kind of change your life? Because walking away from that, I'm sure you're kind of feeling now that, you know, you can accomplish more things in the industry. I feel like what's so amazing about winning this award winning the emmys as well is just that we have more opportunities to tell stories for underserved communities yeah. so i'm super hype about that mm -hmm. and of course making more projects with dance with spunk with fun yes. so yeah all right well um it's going to be a big night here tonight there's a lot of icons angela bassett barry gordy who are you really excited to see I'm definitely very excited to see Angela Bassett. She was my inspiration, like mm -hmm. those strong, powerful arms, her voice. Mm -hmm. And then also I'm very excited for Elegance Bratton who did The Inspection. I actually uh, directed a show he did called My House with Viceland back in the day. So I'm very excited to see all his yeah. growth. So uh, and he's great. getting the big honor, the Social Justice Award tonight. So he's going to make an amazing speech. I'm sure he's going to inspire us all. I see the cast of The Wonder Years right in back of you. They're also getting an award tonight as the best yes. ensemble cast. There's a lot of great star power here. So I'm going to wish you a great night. Thank Enjoy you so it. Much. I appreciate and it. And maybe we'll see you back at the Real TV Awards in the spring. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Oh, that was such a great moment. I remember when she announced to Lizzo that she won. Hi, we're just live, but it's okay. I, I'm just going to share the story. She announced to Lizzo right on the spot that they won, and Lizzo was on her phone. So that was a really cool moment. Yes, we definitely want to talk to the cast of the Wonder Years who are here. If you want to take a look at them, can we just go on over so we can show everyone? There they are. They look great. And we're going to be speaking to them. They are getting honored for the Best Ensemble uh, Award tonight. Stars are starting to arrive. It's a lot of fun. We are going to talk to them. Not a problem. We are live and anything can happen, obviously. So I'm just going to fill in this moment right now just to say thank you to some of our special sponsors. The Fairmont Century Plaza, which is the home of the all the celebrations and also the Critics' Choice Awards, which are happening on January 15th, live on the CW. You can tune into that. Also, the celebration of black cinema and television is going to be televised on Next Star in February, so you can catch it there. As for tonight, you can follow along on our social media handles, all the behind the scenes action and obviously all of the big moments when the winners are up on stage and I can't wait to hear Angela Bassett's big speech. We are, oh I love what he's wearing. Okay, so we are going to be uh, talking to the cast of the Wonder Years. Who else is going to be here tonight? We have Michael B. Jordan, Angela Bassett, Barry Gordy who is getting the Icon Award. Of course he's getting the Icon Award. He only created Motown and set the careers for so many amazing uh, artists in the industry industry. Yeah, I would love to. We can get them all together. Hey there, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm going to say, you know what? At, at this moment, there was someone else who was the best dress on the carpet, but now yeah. you took it over. Yeah, oh my absolutely. goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank You're you. So welcome. Thank you. Okay. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana. Very, very, very nice. And obviously you've got everyone else from the cast here. What does the honor mean for you? You guys are getting a big award tonight. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm just like, Grateful to be a part of the show yeah. and just that we get to be here with all these amazing people. Yeah, and you know, there is a lot of amazing people here tonight. Yeah. Angela Bassett, Barry Gordy, Michael B. Jordan. Who are you excited to see? I'm really excited to see Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. I loved him in Creed. He was yeah. great. Yeah, of course. And he's getting the Trailblazer Award tonight. Yeah. So uh, you're here tonight. If you weren't here getting your honor tonight, what would you be doing? Oh, goodness. I'd probably be... I don't know, have, probably having a nice dinner with my yeah, family. Really? Or if we were here tonight, we'd probably just be hanging out. Hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to let you go, but thank you so much. I love what you're wearing. Dolce Thanks. Gabbana. Yes. Very the good. Oh, my goodness. He's just name dropping all of the brands. Nice yeah, to see yeah, you. Nice see you Enjoy too. your evening. Thank you. All too. right. Hey there. How's it going? Okay. Does everybody in the cast 
is it a criteria to be well dressed in the cast of the Wonder Years? Because look at you guys. Oh, for those two, yeah, they <laughs> both have like insane fashion. Usually, when I, I mean, yeah, today, but usually when I show up to work, it's like some slight. They're always like showing up like very extremely well dressed, like. All right, so tell me how much fun it is working together and part, being part of this cast. Oh, man, it's amazing. The whole entire cast is, like, wonderful to work with. We have so much fun on set. We're always cracking jokes with each other. It's always a good time. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What does this event mean to you? Oh, it's a, it's an honor. I mean, man, like, I, I've been dreaming about going on stage and winning the award, like, my entire career, like, all my life. So it's kind of surreal, but, I mean, I'm just excited to be here. And thank God for uh, everything that he's blessed me with. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, I won't keep you much longer. Enjoy your evening. How are you guys going to celebrate? Oh, we're probably going to, like, go to, like, a burger shop or something like that. <laughs> like, like, like uh, Fridays or something. I don't know. All right. All right, thank you. Right, thank you. I love it. He's already thinking about where he's going to celebrate, and he's going to go to a burger joint. I think a lot of people end up having the burgers afterwards. Not that the food here isn't good because it's delicious at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel. Um, okay, we are going to be right back. We're going to uh, see who else is going to be arriving on the carpet. Don't go anywhere. We will be back from the fifth annual celebration of uh, celebration of cinema and TV here at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel.
And we are back at the celebration of uh, celebration of black cinema and television here at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel. And Andre Day is a presenter tonight. You remember her, obviously, for her music, but obviously by playing Billie Holiday in the United States versus Billie Holiday. And we are going to be speaking with Andra, who looks exquisite on the carpet right now. Hello, lovely. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Likewise. Uh, you know what? I am a huge fan of yours from your music first, obviously, <laughs> and then your breakout performance yes. in the United States versus Billie Holiday. Now you're here tonight as a presenter. Yes. yes. So tell me a little bit about, uh, you're presenting to um, Elegance. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your connection with um, I just, my, my connection is really just through his voice and through his lens. I think the way most people's connection is. And um, I think he's just a person who lives and does everything with intention and purpose. And that's how I love and how I prefer to live my life. And so I'm just, I'm excited. He's very, very deserving of this award. Uh, the film moved me and touched me in so many ways. It sent me on an emotional roller coaster. And so, but more than anything, it inspired me and it inspired me to live. So that's oh. why I'm here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you're very inspiring. So I, you know, I think you're, I don't know if you're a better uh, musician or you're a better actor, Thank but you. what are, great yeah, you know, because you. you're great at both. And what, what are you loving these days? Um, you know, I love, this sounds very, very generic, and I promise you it's thoughtful. I, it's not just a generic answer, but I just love creating, whether it is in film and movies. There's, I'm uh, developing and producing a few things right now, producing the latest record that's coming out. So I just, I like creating. I like getting my hands dirty. I like making things and putting sounds and visuals together. And that's, you know, I'm most of us, we're artists, artists, so we're just conduits. And so that's what I'm really enjoying. All right. And I promise you, I don't want to ask this question, but I have to because you look stunning. So oh tell me about this creation. Girl, wait, I do this every time. This is why they hate me because oh. I never remember. Wait, can you just hit Lori? She's asking you about the designer. Well, you look stunning. You look stunning. You guys, I'm the worst. It just is what it no. is. I'm the worst at this. Well, you look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you so much. You I'm going to find out. Yeah, we're going to find out and I'm going to come and back and tell back. you. Yes, okay, I am. No I'm about my word. We're you gonna enjoy your evening. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Bless you. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you. I appreciate her so much. That is Andra Day. Wow. From the United States versus Billie Holiday and obviously her music and here on the carpet at the celebration of black cinema and television and obviously she's looking exquisite she said she's gonna come back and tell us who she's wearing that's all right okay we are gonna be speaking to some more people who are just arrived on the carpet it is a big night here for the fifth annual celebration we have Michael B Jordan Angela Bassett and so many more we are gonna be talking to some more people on the carpet look at her hair love that Maybe we'll take a little bit of a break. Hi there, come on in. How are you? I'm gorgeous. No, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, so tell me a little bit about uh, why you're here tonight and what this event means to you. Oh my gosh, I, it means the world to me to be amongst such amazing people, be considered to be among amazing people. So, like, it's amazing. And to. It was your first question? Sorry. The first part? What the event means what to you. What it means. Oh my God. Um, just everything, you know, it's a celebration of us and what we're, what we're doing and what we've accomplished. And it's amazing that we can all come together, support each other and recognize each other's work and have a good time while we're doing it. Eat some good food. Have a good time. See some really huge legends in the industry. I mean, we have Andre Day right here. And then we've got Angela Bassett, who's going to be walking the carpet. Who are you excited about? Uh, Angela Bassett. <laughs> uh, like, when I saw that, I was like, you're kidding. Like, let's go. Let's make it happen. Let's go. We have to see the, we have to see the mother. Absolutely. The queen. The queen. The queen. Yes, ma'am. Well, you're looking very regal tonight. Thank you. Right. Tell me I'm about this. I'd love to hear that. Yes. Um, I mean, Arve Le... Arve Leger, yes. I was like, I have to get it right. And with the collaboration with Law Roach, um, they sent this to me, and I was like, what a better event to come to. So, yes. Amazing. Enjoy your evening. I will. Thank you so much. You too, honey. Thank you. All right. Step out. I will step out. Everybody is bringing the fashion tonight. Oh, and I love it. Somebody is wearing a skirt, and I love this new trend that is happening on the carpet. And we will show you who that is coming up very soon. But right now, we've got Zaria on the carpet looking beautiful in a black long gown. And I'm trying to see who else is coming up. Um, until then, why don't we take a little bit of a break? That way I can see who's coming. And we will find out who that man is wearing the skirt looking so handsome in a bit. All right. We will be back with a celebration of black cinema and television here at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel.
are back and Elegance Bratton is going to be speaking with us right now. Hello, Elegance. How are you? Good to meet again. How are you doing? Goodness. You look amazing. So do you. You look beautiful. Thank you, darling. Congratulations on your award tonight. Tell me what it means to you to be honored with this award. You are getting... I'm getting the Social Justice yeah. Award tonight. It means everything to me. The Critics' Choice Association has been a... a, a a big part of my life as a lover of film and to have a movie about my life win this award it's just it means so much yeah and andra was talking very highly of you andra's going to be presenting the award to you i know i know she looks amazing right? she's so beautiful yeah. i'm overwhelmed by that I, I mean i love her music and i think she's a talented artist and for her to see the film and want to put her incredible legacy uh up there for me to be elevated, I, I'm just beyond grateful. So when you heard that you were getting this honor, where, where were you? What were your thoughts that came to mind? I was walking my dog, <laughs> my pu I have a puppy that's a year old and another puppy that's two years old. And I was about to clean up after them and my publicist texted me and I literally screamed so loud that my neighbor came running out. Oh no. Like, what happened? What's wrong? And I'm like, I just got a Critics' Choice Award. <laughs> there you go. So where are you going to put this Critics' Choice Award? I'm going to put it in my office in my trophy case yeah. and it's going to be like prominently centered with lots of light and flowers and all sorts of stuff. So it'll be like whenever, you, if we ever Zoom together, yeah. you'll probably see it in the background. Okay, let's schedule that Zoom, please. Yeah, too, for right? sure. Congratulations. Thank guys. you so much. Same to you. Thank you so much. Hi. All right. So there is Elegance Bratton. And on the carpet is Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy is going to be getting an award tonight as well. Kid Cuddy has done such a huge transformation, right? Rapper, singer, producer, actor. And if you've watched Intergalactic on Netflix, you know what I'm talking about. There is so much fashion in that movie. All right. We are going to be talking to Kid Cuddy, who is getting a huge award tonight and Bill Bellamy who is the host is arriving here he looks like he's all dressed in gold he looks like a statue all right can we get hold on we are gonna get Kid Cudi in just a minute Scott can we get you for sorry Scott hey there. oh all right okay he went to someone else but we'll get him don't you worry about it Bill Bellamy is here with his wife he is looking beautiful and great. We were during, during rehearsals, he was bringing in the laughs. So a lot of people are going to have fun with Bill Bellamy. He's a comedian who's made his transition into acting as well. Started off in MTV doing this job right here. So we're going to have a lot to talk about with Bill. Um, the carpet is getting really busy right now. I think I see Twitch as well. If you are a fan of Ellen, then you know who Twitch is. He's on the carpet with his wife, Allison. So don't go anywhere. The stars are coming. We're just going to wait until they arrive. There's a lot of people here. Kid Cudi is getting the Groundbreaker Award. Bill Bellamy is the host. And we've got Twitch and Allison. I just made eye contact with them. They'll be here as well. They are guests of the celebration of Black Cinema and Television. All right. We're going to get Bill and see exactly what he's going to bring tonight to the audience. Hey there, he doesn't know who he doesn't know who to look at. One second. Look at him. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. This is beautiful. All right, Bill, a couple of questions. Look at you. You look amazing. Thank you. I saw you during rehearsals and you already looked good then and now you really brought it tonight. Yeah, when you host an event like this, you have to be off the hook, uh -huh. aka outrageous, aka oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you, everyone will notice you tonight. Oh, thank All you. Right. Yeah, but you know what? How do, how do you feel about being the host of the celebration of Black Cinema and Television? Well, I'm really honored because there's so much talent tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are our talented people in every area of entertainment from actors, actresses, screenwriters, directors. We cover every gamut, and uh, we got a special. Uh, Lifetime Achievement Award tonight that is like historic, so I'm excited. Right, and I, the Lifetime Achievement Award, Angela Bassett, the queen of all queens, Barry right? Gordy. Barry Gordy. I mean, an iconic award for an icon. Yes. yes. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. We got, we got it. We got, we got it all. It. Okay, I won't keep you very much longer, but I knew you started off doing this. Yes. You were like an MTV VJ. Right? Yes, I was. Yes, I started back in the day, <laughs> you know, hosting, and it's wonderful. Yeah. Anybody that wants to be a host, you get a chance to uh, show your personality. Do you miss 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. No, because you can do the live stream if you want. No, no, but I got to host the show today. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see you later. Enjoy, have fun. Okay. That was Bill Bellamy. He is hosting the Celebration of Black Cinema tonight. And we've got Twitch and his wife, Allison. We're going to speak to them as well. I'm a big fan of Twitch. I love a guy who can dance and act. And Twitch, can we speak to you for a second? Power couple. I'm just going to see who else is coming. All right, we are okay. We're getting Kid Cuddy and we're getting Twitch at the same time. So let's see what we can get. Let's get all right. Let's get Scott Kid Cuddy. Hello there. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm so great, and especially now that you're here. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, what a huge honor, groundbreaker, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Your career has just, I mean, you wear so many hats from rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, actor. Intergalactic is incredible. How does this honor make you feel? Uh, I'm overwhelmed. You know, I got my mom with me tonight. Uh, this is this is a big deal, man. I mean, I, 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 I don't get recognized very often you know um so this is this is just really crazy okay well the spotlight is on you tonight for sure you said you don't get recognized what are you talking about you have a huge fan following your kid cuddy yeah well, i mean like awards i don't really i don't have like a slew of awards that i've won you All right, know? do i call you kid cuddy or do i call you scott you can call me scott okay you prefer scott yes yeah, Scott's okay. good you heard it here first i could call him scott yeah all right yeah. well congratulations scott thank we will you. see you thank up you. on stage I'll thank you so you. much all right we can call him Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Cuddy, getting the Groundbreaker Award. Hi there. Yes, absolutely, we will speak to Sean Patrick Thomas. We are live. Sean Patrick Thomas is gonna be just coming over here. Hi there, we're live. Come on in, how's it going? How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for being here at the Celebration of Black Cinema and Television. I'm very, very, very happy to be here. Oh, there were a lot of varies there, tell me why. Because we are doing excellent work this year, yeah. as we always do. Mm -hmm. But it's always great to uh, take a moment out to, to celebrate it, to recognize it, to, to give it, to give us our flowers. And yes. so uh, that's why I'm happy to be here. And there's a lot of star power here tonight. And there are a lot of icons tonight, like Angela Bassett, uh -huh. Barry Gordy. Who are you excited to see? Honestly, you just named them. I yeah. mean, Barry Gordy, I've never met him. But I mean, my God, I mean, he's kind of affected all of our lives. Absolutely. So uh, no matter how old you are, you know, you have you have some he's touched your life somehow absolutely so i think he's the one all right well i will let you enjoy your evening right. tonight thank you for stopping by thank you very much thank you Sounds all right like have you seen the woman king lately right. have you even if you haven't seen it you have to put that on your list of movies to see this holiday because it is amazing i think i've seen it about three times now and every time i watch it there's something new that i appreciate and the reason why i'm bringing up the woman king is because the director gina is on the carpet and we are going to talk to her about the woman king working with viola davis she is getting the honor tonight for a director award at the celebration of black cinema and television uh we are here celebrating the very best in black excellence and gina obviously definitely delivered do you know that the woman king took seven years for the idea to actually have an approval she was pitching the idea to so many people seven years later someone finally said yes and there you have the woman king all right we are going to talk to gina who is on the carpet i'm just trying to see who else is coming so i can let you know and give you a little bit of a tease hi there can we get gina absolutely hi gina how are you we saw each other the other night at the woman king and i told you that i was going to talk to you on the carpet because everyone wants to know about all of your amazing work that you've done on the film seven years it took for you to make it tell me the story yeah the story came to viola seven years ago and um she talks about how sad it was that she heard it sounded like an amazing story but her immediate thought was it'll never get made but that little piece of her believed in it and she and Kathy Shulman, Julius Tenen fought to get it set up and then I came aboard which was beautiful. Um, I knew as soon as I read it what this film could be. It was a film that I've always wanted to make and to have the opportunity to do it, to have this incredible ensemble of actors and be on this side of it where people are loving the film, it's, it's been really cool. And now you're getting honored as a director tonight here. So that's a huge accomplishment. How does it make you feel? 
I mean, it's beautiful. I remember literally we were shooting last year at this time and I saw pictures from this event and in my head, I was like, I hope I get to go to this event next season. So I'm very happy to be here and to be honored. I love that story. Well, you deserve all the flowers tonight. You deserve the spotlight. Thank you so much for making time to stop here. And I love the Woman King. I've seen it three times now. It also won our Sophie Seal, which is our Women's Committee uh, Sophie Seal, which recognizes female-led films. So it's getting a lot of praise, and we're so proud of you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you, too. I love Gina. You can see her. She's going to be uh, one of the biggest directors around in Hollywood. Absolutely. Okay, we have someone else. Nicole Brown. Sure. Come on in. Hi, Nicole. How's it going? Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you for stopping by. We are live at the Critics' Choice right now. So tell me a little bit about um, why this event matters and why it's important. Well, this is, a beautiful, this is a beautiful event, and it's beautiful to honor these films. Um, and I'm really excited to be here right next to my filmmaker, Gina prince Bythewood, and uh, having some conversations about The Woman King. Oh my goodness, I was just saying, I've seen The Woman King three times now, and every time I see it, there's a different scene that I just get goosebumps, and it just makes me want to cheer, because it's such a great film, but I can't believe it took seven years to actually have it approved. It took a long time, but it was one of those scripts that when you read it, you knew it had to be made. And when you when you knew that Viola Davis was going to star, you knew you had to see it. And when our producers put together such a brilliant team, it became irresistible for Sony. And I'm so glad that we've made it. And I'm so glad that audiences have celebrated it. And people like you have seen yes. it three times. Yes, I've seen it three times. We have a women's committee with the Critics' Choice Association. And we gave it the Sophie seal because it represents everything about female empowerment. And Susu, can we talk about her? She's never acted in a film before. And this was her breakout film. Tuso Mabudu is such a generational talent and she has so much to give we should all be very excited for what's to come but it was so so exciting to um celebrate her and make her um and give her such an extraordinary part and watch her work with viola davis um and she's just very special i kind of felt there was that mother-daughter bond in real life they got they had a great chemistry that way. they did from the from the audition process um viola spoke to her um and they had this instant bond and this was definitely tuso was Viola was one of her idols and to see her get so inspired to work with her just like the character is inspired to work with this general there were so many parallels and it was such a beautiful relationship to watch well, congratulations i hope you have a lot to celebrate tonight uh congratulations on the film and i wish you the very best thank you, thank so, you much. so much thank you i appreciate you thank you all right all right, so if that hasn't convinced you yet to watch The Woman King, I don't know what will. It is an amazing film. Watch it this holiday season if you still have not seen it yet. I am going to take a look and see who's coming on this carpet. We are going to take a little bit of a break. Someone's wearing a beautiful yellow gown. I just want to find out who that is. It's Shannon Thornton from Pea Valley. Perfect. Shannon Thornton from Pea Valley. Yes, because Nico is getting honored tonight from Pea Valley. So, Shannon, let's talk to her. I'm Natasha with the Critics' Choice Association. All right. It's live. We're just going to talk to anyone, right? Okay. Hey, Shannon, do you want to say a couple of words? Oh, sorry. Come on over. Sorry about that. Hold on. There you go. I'm just going to, here you go. Come on in so my cameraman can see you. How's it going? It's going well. How good, are you? Good. What does it mean for you to be at this event tonight? Um, it's a great honor for us to all to be able to come together like this. Uh, I think, you know, we're always in our perspective corners working tirelessly in our own, you know, specialties. And it's great when you can have moments where you all can come together and reflect on all that we're accomplishing and reminding ourselves of what we continue want to do. Absolutely. And who are you excited to see tonight? Oh, I'm excited for everyone. Yeah. This is always a great time. And also with the pandemic, we're still like slowly seeing people and reconnecting with. So yeah. it's right. Well, enjoy your evening. Tonight. Thank you so Thank much. You for stopping by. All right. We are still going to wait for Shannon. She was just, yeah, we're going to get her back. All right. But we are going to keep talking to some more people. Joy Sunday is here. Shannon from Pea Valley. 
All right. I think we're going to take a little bit of a break right now, just so we'll see who are the other celebrities that are coming in. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back at the fifth annual celebration of Black Cinema and Television. getting packed all the celebrities are arriving at the same time we've got Shannon from P-Valley how are you hi I'm great how are you I'm really good tonight's a big night obviously for P-Valley too yes. right tell oh me, my gosh tell me about the excitement that you're feeling right now I am so excited to see my castmate and my friend Nico yeah. Anan who plays Uncle Clifford be yeah. honored tonight so well, he's yeah, getting a huge support. He's getting a huge award tonight, yes. right? Yes. And a lot of he has a huge fan following as well, Nico. And he's getting this a major award from the Celebration of Black Cinema and Television. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what this event means to you that we're all gathered here tonight. To finally celebrate the excellence of all of these incredible super talented entertainers mm -hmm. and to finally give them a moment to shine and to give them their flowers. Yeah. 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 Well, I wish you a great night. Thank you so Have much. fun. Yeah. Celebrate Nico. And we are going to be speaking to our next honoree right now. Thank you so much. All right. Hi there, Ayo. How are you? Hey, you, how are you? You look beautiful in white. Thank you so much. Winter white. I love it. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it in, you know. Yeah. Season's happening. It's a big night for you. Congratulations. You are getting honored tonight from the celebration of black cinema and television. Tell me what the honor means to you. It means a lot. It means everything. Uh, it feels very crazy to be at the beginning of my career and to be receiving something like this. But also, like, be in a room with so many people that I look up to. Um, and, yeah, just to be here. It's it's very moving. It's very strange. Tell me about the bear. You play a chef. Do you know how to cook for in real life? <laughs> Do you know how to cook in real life? I like to cook. But also we went through pretty extensive kitchen training, um, which helped just finesse the skills that we had and made it look even more real on camera. What are some of your uh, signature recipes that you want to share with us? I love to make a mac and cheese. Uh -huh. I make a pretty good baked mac and cheese. <laughs> I make a really good roast chicken. Sort of just like classics. I, I like a lot of pasta too. I can do like a lot of pasta dishes. I'm Italian, so I'm okay. always about pasta. Yes. I love carbs. <laughs> I, I They're very important to me. They they're very important. I love I love the pasta. I love a rice. I love a bread. I don't think there's pasta tonight, but there, there actually is. There's spaghetti because oh. that's what I'm eating for dinner. <laughs> okay. So you enjoy your spaghetti tonight. Hopefully it's not with a tomato sauce because we don't want to get it on that. Many <laughs> napkins. Many napkins will be All right. draped. I cannot yes. wait to see your speech tonight. Thank enjoy. So Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I love a woman who loves spaghetti and I love people who love to eat, right? Okay. Thank you. We are going to be speaking to hello there. All right, we are now going to be taking a break. I don't know where Nico went, but we're going to take a break and we will be right back. There are some more celebrities coming, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So we will be right back. We're going to take a break. Oh, I see Brian Henry Tyree coming. So we'll be right back.
Ryan Tyree Henry is here. Ryan Tyree Henry, you know him from Atlanta. You probably also know him from Bullet Train and Causeway, starring alongside Jennifer Lawrence. It is a great movie. It's getting a lot of award and a lot of praise this award season. We would love to speak to Brian. I'm just going to try and get his attention, but we do definitely do want to speak to him. Brian, can we have two words? Hi. We're going to come right back. Okay. Oh, and David Oyelowo is here too. Okay. And look, they're both wearing their amazing suits. Look at the color. Oh, Angela Bassett has arrived. Angela Bassett is on the carpet. Brian Tyree Henry and David Oyelowo. All right. All right, Brian, how are you? Uh, how you are look you? so good. Thank you, thank you. But you always bring it. You always have thank great you. fashion style. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. I love it. Okay, there's so much to talk about. First of yeah. all, how do you feel about Atlanta coming to an end? Um, I think it was time. You know, I think we watched our heroes go through plenty. You watched me get shot at enough. You watched <laughs> me have enough practice fall on me. And I think that we came to a great conclusion. Everybody found their way home. Everyone's together. But is it a dream or not? Oh, yeah. Was it all a dream, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's what I like about how we ended it. It's like left to interpretation. It was filled with love and laughs. So. I'm very happy about it. All right. Uh, I'm going to say it for the record. The best thing about Bullet Train is you and Brad Pitt. That's all. I'm going <laughs> to say that you. right now. Thank you. And Causeway. I mean, you and Jennifer Lawrence, that movie was so great <laughs> on so many levels, right? Representation. You're playing a man with a disability. Yeah. Uh, it's about a female story of Jennifer Lawrence. What did you love most about being in there? Uh, you know what? Being able to play with Jennifer Lawrence, honestly, uh, and also our director, Lila Nugabauer, who I have history with. We went to Yale together back in the day. I've known her for over 18 years, and to be a part of her first feature was great. To be a part of another independent uh, indie with Jennifer, where she started, it was just, it was a no-brainer to do. Yeah, it was great. And to do it in New Orleans, honestly, was like the icing on the cake. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad job to have, yeah, right? No, it was great. Um, you know what? I'm just getting a little distracted. Not because I, I really appreciate speaking why. with you, because Angela Bassett Angela is Bassett right in half. Like, yeah. I literally saw her walk in, and I was like, oh, my breath just escaped my body. <laughs> and I was like, all right, just be, be easy. Don't be weird. Right. Don't We're here to honor her as well. Right. But she's the big reason why I'm standing here as an actor. So, like, to actually see her in the flesh is just like, you know, you kind of go like that. So it's, is she, where is she? She's is she? right in back of you. And you guys look good together because you're wearing the same color I'm hue. so nervous. No. Like, I, I can't, don't, 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 don't make it weird. <laughs> okay. Well, well, she just walked away. Oh, she went to extra. Okay. All right. Now we can breathe a little better. You see the beads happening. Like, there's a, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Your favorite Angela Bassett role? Oh, what's love got to do with Me it? Too. Hands down. Oh God, she I introduced know. us to the guns on that one, you know. Also, people forget Jackson, the Jackson family yep. miniseries that was on where she played, you know, yeah. Mother Jackson. Yeah. So she was, I mean, everything she does is just I mean, out of this world. She's the queen of Wakanda. And she, the queen. <laughs> She's the queen of everywhere to me. Yeah, um, I mean, me too. All right, I'm going to let you go, but you are welcome to stay here when I talk to Angela Bassett. Oh, uh, no, want. I'm literally just going to be covered in sweat and nervous. But yeah. All right, well, you've got a speech to prepare, too. I know, right? You're getting right? honored I'm getting tonight. honored tonight, yeah. Okay, so I'm really proud of you. Thank you Excited very much. Excited for you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. I appreciate it. You too. I appreciate you too. I would love, thank you. All right, we are going to wait for Angela Bassett. The carpet is crowded. The carpet has a lot of star power. There are so many celebrities who are on the carpet right now. We just spoke to Brian, who is starring with Jennifer Lawrence in Causeway. He is getting an award tonight for his acting. Angela Bassett is here. She is getting a Career Achievement Award. I mean, so many roles that Angela Bassett has starred in. What's Love Got to Do With It? Waiting to Exhale. We're going to be speaking with her. We're going to wait. There's so much love on the carpet right now. So much love. There's the cast of Pea Valley. They are hugging. There you go. Look at that. Can we get that shot just to show everyone? There's so much love on the carpet right now from the cast of Pea Valley. Jonathan Majors has just arrived. If you haven't seen Devotion, that is an amazing film. He is walking on the carpet right now. Hi there. 
I'm just going to uh, Sure, sure, I'm sure. All right, so many people want now to talk to us, so that's great. All right, can we get Nico? Do you mind if we get Nico, please? All right, Nico, you got to just say a couple of words to the Critics' Choice Association. How are you? I am wonderful. You are I'm wonderful. wonderful. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. It is absolutely beyond me to be in this moment right here, to be receiving the love that has been intentionally put out into the world. So I'm here for it. Thank you, Critics' Choice. There's so much love on this carpet. I love it. And I love the way the cast of P Valley is so much love. Yeah, right? they just had to come up and say hi. And, you know, we had to, what we do is touch and agree before we breathe and believe. Uh, each time literally we do that's the that's yeah. point and hopefully it's resonating with people so we are grateful for that so i'm like come on stars up I, in here p valley i am grateful for you but how has p valley changed your life um one it has allowed more eyes on how i live <laughs> ah. um so that's like uh, an interesting you know dichotomy but i absolutely think that in terms of being an of advocate for my community it has absolutely opened up doors and i feel like opened up people's hearts literally into being a little more empathetic to people that they think may be different from them but in actuality we're all more human and alike than we think oh my goodness i can hear you speak all night oh, i know yeah no i can <laughs> and i know you're going to do an amazing acceptance speech tonight so congratulations on your huge honor Honor and all the best to you. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Jonathan Majors, can we have two words, please? Come on over. Jonathan Majors is coming. All right. An amazing actor getting an award. We're just going to be speaking to Jonathan right now. Sorry, we're live. We're just going to be speaking to Jonathan. Two. There we go. Come on over. Hello. How are you? Very well. How are you? I am amazing. And I want to be honest with you. I just saw Devotion the other night and I loved it. Oh, love the film. I wasn't expecting to ugly cry at the end, though. Well, you should. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know if I'm spoiling it for anybody, but I, it, was, it was so emotional at the end. But your performance is amazing. Tell me what you loved about Devotion. Uh, Jesse Brown. Uh, Jesse Brown's a superhero. You know, it's, it's quite rare where you get to do a piece and at the end of it, you realize that the person you got to meet and portray uh, is actually, you know, your hero. Yeah. You know, the thing Jesse Brown represents, integrity, grit, love, uh, devotion to family, country, etc., um, are all things that I, uh, I, I now strive to, uh, to bring into my personal life off the screen uh, in a different way. So, uh, Jesse Brown all the way. Yeah. You know what? I spoke to your casting director the other day and she was just raving about your performance because I host another show for Casting Workbook and she was just like working with you was such a pleasure and that, you know, you are Hollywood's leading man now, right? Um, so tell me a little bit about what this honor means to you tonight. I mean, it's big. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, these are, these are, this is family. This is friends. This is what's up. Uh, hello. <laughs> All right. I love this. How? No, you are not disturbing. We can talk together. Obviously, Woman King, Devotion, two films that are really getting a lot of praise this year. How are you guys? How do you guys know each other? Obviously, aside from being in the industry, what's your connection? Oh, talented work. Talented, talented work. work. You can take yeah. I, I, okay, I got it. So, so hello. Uh, so we know each other. Uh, I, I first was introduced to her um, through her Barry Jenkins project, which is which she led, which was absolutely incredible. Underground. Uh, uh, Underground Railroad, beg your pardon. Uh, wicked, incredible, magical, beautiful. He's very good. Uh, He's super incredible. And we're best friends. He just keeps forgetting that oh. we're best friends. And we're best friends. <laughs> and we're best friends. You're best friends. Should we just tag out? Uh, no, you know what? No, you can, you can do oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, should we talk about the outfit? Wow, so what is this? What are we wearing tonight? Christian Dior. Christian Dior. What else? That's it. That's Dior, 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 Dior. Huh? Wow. She's loyal. <laughs> She's loyal. Noted. She's loyal. But you know what? I'm afraid of her because her first major film, did you see what she had to do? Acting alongside Viola Davis, training, running, oh and God. she can act as the same time. New generation. Like. New generation. We're the same generation. But same generation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about you and Viola. Okay, cool. That's you and Viola. Okay, cool. I get it. Different I get it. generation. I get it. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to let you guys talk amongst yourselves. I think we better go before we get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> right. no, that's it. Right. So Looking forward to tonight. Yeah, have Okay, it. is that all right? 
Have a great time. Oh, I love this. I love this. How are you, beautiful? Good. How are you? Congratulations on this huge honor for you tonight. I meant every word I said. You are amazing in The Woman King, and I Thank loved watching you. the film. What did you love most about it? There is nothing I didn't love from our cast to the crew to shooting in South Africa to yeah. learning new things with the stunts and just performing alongside Viola. It's amazing. Of course. I mean, Viola was your mom. <laughs> yes, she was. And she's kind of like taking me in even beyond the project. So I'm grateful. And what does this night mean to you to get recognized for your work? So I'm actually presenting our director, Gina, with her honor. And that for me, it's a little scary because I, I don't do public speaking. But for You're Gina, very good at it. No, <laughs> I'm not. But for Gina, I'll... I'll, I'll I'll throw something out. Of course you will. Yes. Well, you look beautiful. I love the whole connection with you and Jonathan. Best friends working together. Enjoy your evening. It's going to be amazing. And thank you. So oh, he's back. Well, oh, he's back. I'm actually he's just coming back. over here. I'm actually he's coming back. over here. <laughs> he's trying to steal your spotlight. All right. Thank you so much, lovely. I will see you. Oh, my goodness. That was so much fun. Jonathan Majors is hosting our live stream right now. Hi there. Yes, absolutely. We can speak to him. Perfect. Come on. The director of devotion. Not a problem. Hi there. How are you? How's it going? I'm very good. You know, Jonathan just took over our live stream just talking about devotion. It and happens stuff. when you're standing close to him. It happens. <laughs> it happens. you got to be careful. I was just telling him that I saw the movie three days ago and I absolutely loved it. I wasn't expecting to ugly cry at the end. I wasn't right. expecting that. Right. But his performance is just amazing and outstanding. What was it like working with him? I mean, he's one of a kind, yeah. you know? Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of like your biggest dream when you start working with an actor is that they don't just do what was in your head, but they kind of transcend and do something that you never thought you could. So I think to watch him bring Jesse Brown to life the way that he did uh, was just like a beautiful and overwhelming thing. Yes. And how proud are you of him and his accomplishment tonight? I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. I've been a fan of his for a minute, but the amount that he's exploded yeah. in just the last three years has been so unbelievable to watch because uh, A, he's like got the talent to do it. Um, and I don't know. I mean, it, it's rare that you have someone that kind of fits both like movie star and like incredible actor in the same brushstroke. So uh, like, yeah, it's just been wild to watch. Well, the movie is extraordinary. I loved it. Thank you so much for making the time. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, definitely with a shot of tequila. And then uh, we've got a red eye. Oh, you've got a red. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to Philly. Oh, for a movie? Uh, back home to Philly. Back I mean, I don't live there, but okay. got to show the movie in Philly where I'm from. All right. Well, all was working. Okay. You can all fun, a little bit of play. It's all good. Thank That's you it. so much. Thanks so much. Nice to chat. Thank Thanks you. so much. All right. That was fun. I still can't get over the fact that Jonathan <laughs> took over our live stream. That was a highlight for the night. I love the fact that he just loved to speak and he was talking to Tuso. Okay. We are going to probably take a little bit of a break. I'm going to just see who's coming. We are at the celebration of black cinema and television. Yes, we are going to take a little bit of a break so I can see who's coming. Up next, hopefully, Michael B. Jordan. Stick around.
We got it, two. Hello, yes, we are live. How are you, lovely? Well, thank oh you. God. Everyone has said tonight on the carpet, the one that they are most excited to see and they might pass out if they meet her is Angela Bassett. Queen Angela Bassett, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Well, if they pass out, I'm gonna pass out too. Oh, I'm so on. I'm so thrilled, I'm so excited to get it. Congratulations. Nice, so thank you. What does the award mean to you? And I'm like, it's, it's about damn time is what I wanna say, that you are getting honored for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh my gosh, it's, um, you know, length and breadth of my career, you know, from it just starting as a, a thought, a passion of, I hope to, to get to this moment. Now, is it possible to choose one role that you favored over the others, or is that like choosing your favorite child? Because, you know, from waiting to exhale to playing Tina Turner, which one was a role that really, I guess, was your favorite? You, you know, you're right about that. They are all my children. <laughs> Some days I get on with one <laughs> a little better than the other. We communicate. But what's love definitely was or continues to always be one of my favorite because it just demanded. That child demanded so much of me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we really have a bond. Oh, my God. You know? Uh -huh. I, I am just in awe of your beauty, of your talent. I wish you all the best tonight. I cannot wait to hear your speech because I know it's going to be one of the most memorable parts of the night. Oh, well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Queen Angela Bassett on the celebration of black cinema and television carpet. Oh, my goodness. That was a huge highlight. She's done so many iconic roles in Hollywood, and she said that her favorite role was obviously playing Tina Turner. All right. We now. Oh, Michael B. Jordan is here. There you go. Michael B. Jordan honored with the Melvin Van Peebles Award, the Trailblazer Award. We are going to talk to Michael B. Jordan on the carpet. find out who he's with all right bring up Michael has obviously done so well with his career he is directing now we're gonna talk a little bit about Creed coming up in March and obviously his huge honor here tonight all right so he's right here we'll talk to him soon so the biggest names tonight that everybody's been waiting for is Barry Gordy, Angela Bassett, and Michael B. Jordan. We are going to wait to talk to him. I love how everyone is just taking out their phones and taking a picture of Michael B. Jordan. I love it, right? Because everyone is starstruck over Michael. We all love Michael B. Jordan. Um, all right. That's all right. I'm live. No problem. It's okay. Anything can happen. We're fine. It's okay. Um, everybody loves Michael B. Jordan. And Jonathan Majors, again, is trying to steal his spotlight. <laughs> There you go. We should get Jonathan Majors to host one of our award shows. I think that's what we should do next year because every time somebody that he knows is being interviewed by another media outlet, he just goes on into the interview and interrupts them. Michael, can we get a couple of questions for the Critics' Choice? All right. They're going to come right back. No problem. He obviously went to Jonathan Majors. I'm sure they're best friends too because Jonathan was saying that he's best friends with a lot of people. I'm going to get out of your way so you can take a picture. No problem. There is no problem. It's all love on the carpet. He'll come back. All right. So how about we take a little bit of a break, just because I think it's going to take a little bit of time. Michael B. Jordan with Jonathan Majors are talking right now, and I think it's going to take a little bit of time for him to come back here. But don't go anywhere. We will have Michael B. Jordan back here at the Celebration of Black Cinema and Television. All right. We'll be back.
Michael. Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. Are we ready? We're because we're live. Sorry, Love it. we are live. All right. Okay. In three, two, one. Hi, everybody. We are live, and as promised, we have Michael B. Jordan here, the Trailblazer Award. When you heard that the Critics' Choice was honoring you with this type of award, mm -hmm. what came to mind? You sure you got the right guy? No, no. I mean, you know, I mean, honestly, you know, I'm, I'm still in post production right now, finishing my project. So to kind of get an accolade right now, it's, it's, it was a little like, oh, wow, okay, I haven't even finished the, the work yet. Um, so I'm kind of still in it, but it's a, it's an honor, you know, um, Melvin Van Peoples, um, what he means to the community, what he means to the entertainment industry as a whole. He's contributed so much. So to receive a, an award in his honor, um, and his name is uh, is truly, truly, truly something, something special. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I mean, you've done so much with your career. The Wire, Creed, I, I mean, Black Panther. Is there a favorite role that you've played? Favorite role? My, it, it, it might have to be Wallace from The Wire, I think. I, I think it was probably one of my earlier roles where, you know, I didn't even really know what acting was. Mm. It was just kind of like living and being. And I think that kind of um, naive place um surrounded by a lot of older veterans you know and directors and filmmakers and storytellers that really encouraged me to kind of keep going All so right. i think that's kind of where i really fell in love with what i was doing so i kind of i'll give wallace as okay. my favorite my one question is i know you're doing the transition from acting to directing mm -hmm. what are you loving more these days Ooh, that's a good one uh these days directing directing I i've been looking at my face on screen in the edit for a long time now, and, it, and it's tough. It's all tough. Right. It's tough. Well, I wish you all the best. Maybe we'll have you here next year as a director award. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, you never know. know. And thank you pleasure. so much. My pleasure. There you have it. We have Michael B. Jordan. It was well worth the wait. I think we're going to be closing the carpet right now. And what a carpet it was. There was so much star power here at the fifth annual celebration of black cinema and television at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel. We had Angela Bassett, Michael B. Jordan. What is happening in back of me? Oh, that's right. Brian. Ty Henry Tyree is here and so many other there's a money shot exactly there's so many so much happening Jonathan Majors as well what a carpet and with that I think it's time to close it because the show is about to start don't forget you can watch all the behind the scenes action at criticschoice.com all our social media handles and also this is going to be televised in February on Netstar okay that wraps up our red carpet um coverage for the fifth annual celebration of black cinema and television it was a good one we'll see you later